November in Vancouver. This guy was the Grey Cup MVP. What a game that Danny McMahon has put together. 347 yards, a couple of touchdowns, both to his number one target, Darren Flutie. Darren Flutie is not in this game here tonight, but he was in that one, and he made a big, big difference in the outcome. He doesn't have a security blanket. No. Tonight. And that might be a bit of a problem. He's thrown three interceptions. Oh, ready for Griggs. Oh, they're saying he was, was out of bounds. And he couldn't stay in bounds. Yeah, saying he was out of bounds on the sideline. It was what's called a throw behind. Deliberately throw it right to the back of Andrew Gregg, and he puts his he puts the air brakes on, stops, turns around, and comes up with the catch. But was he out of bounds? He caught the ball there. His foot is right on the line, and the official is on the spot. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Hard to tell from as far away as we are, but. I would say the official had it well read. Yeah, he's right there. So Greg couldn't keep it in bounds. Second and ten. McManus looks to the near side. Doesn't run off, and he won't run here either, but he's on the money. Connecting with Tony Aikens. Second CFL start for Aikens, who is actually in the lineup for Darren Flutie tonight. 17 yards the game. Remember Aikens last year? In a Winnipeg game. He, he came in in the Winnipeg game and had like four catches for four touchdowns. 257 <laughs> yards. Actually, had eight catches. Four went for touchdowns. Yeah, I think his first four, though, were yeah. for touchdowns, if I remember correctly. But this is a pretty nice catch in traffic. Alonja Johnson has a shot at it. Peoples is back there. Eddie Davis is back there. And again, McManus threads the needle. McManus to his right. Got it away just in time. Archie Amerson. First catch of the night. Yeah, that looked like he was trying to make things up on the fly didn't look quite like a typical offensive play. It's kind of crowded. Man has got to the outside on his own, but he did get Archie Amerson involved, and we've been wondering how long that would take here tonight. Amerson has four 100-yard games so far this season. Well, it's really coming into his own. I think he'd have to be the offensive player of the year so far with the Tiger Cats. I agree. I agree. First down, McManus, far side. Looking for Greg, flags are down, Greg escapes. It's a foot race to the end zone, he doesn't quite make it. Well, you gotta give Anthony Pryor credit for keep continuing to hustle down that sideline and catch Andrew Greg before he got in the end zone. It looked to me like the flag may go against Pryor anyway. He looked like he was screening him possibly and ended up catching that pass anyway as Greg flips Forward to the sideline. Interference. Calvary number 37, decline. First down. Tiger Cats will take a 61-yard gain on the completion 